All right, this is gonna be my tree trolley slash lumber hauler build. Now, if you haven't used a tree trolley or lumber cart before, let me just show you what they're good for. Basically, you can just stack a bunch of long stuff, long branches, two by fours, two by sixes, any kind of long stuff. You can even haul metal on one of these things. You can stack it on there and increase the amount you can carry. So if you cut a tree down in the backyard, and you gotta haul those branches out to the front, you know, you can carry one or two at a time, but with the tree trolley, you can stack those guys on. It just gives you mechanical advantage so you can haul a lot more stuff. All right, this is a little bit sad, but I'm just gonna break it to you that this is the original tree trolley. This is tree trolley 1.0. It um, was built kind of quickly. I just kind of welded it together as a concept. Like, dude, I can build one of those. Uh, it fell apart. It also didn't quite have the right balance to it. It was kind of front heavy. So you were actually holding way too much of the weight on the tree trolley. So in tree trolley 2.0, we're gonna solve those problems. All right, here's what I'm gonna use as my foundation. The monster of hand trucks. You can use a regular hand truck. It's not like you're gonna be hauling 5,000 pounds worth of tree or anything like that on this thing. It's gonna be like a few hundred pounds. So you can use a regular dolly. I've even used a trailer dolly before. That was tree trolley 1.0. I wasn't super crazy about this El Cheapo trailer dolly. This guy's from Harbor Freight. It's just kind of a little bit thin and cheesy. All right, first up, I just wanna establish my proportions and my measurements and everything. I really like the length of tree trolley number one. It allowed for just, you know, like eight, nine, 10 foot branches without uh, hitting the handle. So I'm gonna go with the same length, but it didn't extend out this way. So the center of gravity, like I said, was usually too far forward or the branches were hanging off the back. Also, the wheels were exposed. So the tires were dragging on branches, often sometimes locking up and that really sucked. You can see Monster Trolley has wheel covers. So it's already better in some ways. So proportionally, I'm gonna extend out the trolley this way, uh, create like a little rest for my stuff. I need to create this uh, trough kind of thing, you know, to hold my, hold my wood, my lumber or my logs. And then I need to extend out a good sized handle. I might even use this handle. It was just a little bit on the thin side, but it might work. Begin by destroying a perfectly good hand truck. All right, so these guys are swinging pretty good. I just need to put a stop on either side so I get like a good angle, kind of propped out like that. And then I'll put just a little dab of Loctite on each one of these just so it never comes off.
Uh, just to check in with you guys, I've got the uh, four fold down arms in place. And these front ones rest on these tabs here. And they kind of tension over the bolts. So they don't flop around too much, but I'll probably put either a tie or a catch or a latch or something on these guys just so they don't fold up. And these guys back here rest on these nuts on the flat side of the nuts. Fold down like so. I still need to put a catch over here so this one doesn't go too far. And then uh, next thing is the extendo arm off the back. Like I said, I want the weight to be distributed pretty evenly over the wheel so that the wood is, you know, half this way and half this way. And then last thing over here, a little dab of Loctite on each bolt. We got the pin that just keeps it when it's all folded up. You know, these guys fold it down, this guy slid in. That's when you put the pin in place. And then I uh, just need to deal with the business end of this guy. It's gonna have a cross piece. I think maybe a little wider, you know, a little bit wider. Because you know what happens when you put branches on this thing, even though you set it up like it's a real straight shot, you know, your branches are like all over the place, and especially off the back. You know, they'll just be like flailing off the sides or whatever. So when this support is swung out, it's gonna be about right there. And I'm gonna have a fairly wide piece to support the stuff off the back. All right, so you're looking at the cart all collapsed down. These are the arms that fold up. And I guess if you're hauling shorter stuff, you could just do it just like that, maybe six foot or eight foot pieces. But uh, let's pull out the slider for longer stock. And then this is the cart in full extendo mode. You've got the brace on the back just to support longer stuff, keep it from dragging. We've got the arms popped up and the extended handle.
when I was building the cart, you could probably tell that I was thinking about tree branches and big limbs and stuff like that. But this is just to show you that you could use it to haul two by fours, two by sixes to a job site. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, two by fours and a two by two. And the long ones are 12 footers. All right, I'm gonna haul it out to my timber proving ground to give it a test on some actual branches. All right, so you probably remember at the beginning of this build, I was really interested in getting the weight balanced over the wheels. So it didn't take too much effort to pick up the trolley. And uh, that's totally working. Really, really nice. Previously, if I had it loaded with this stuff, and this is all oak, if I had it loaded like this, it was just a tank, really a tank. But right now it's just a lot, lot lighter. Okay, I'm back from the testing ground. This guy's back in the shop. I made one tweak to it I wanna show you is that I shortened the extendo arm. So the extendo arm is now a lot closer to the unit. That allows me when I pull it out, that still gives me a pretty good reach when I pull it out. But the important thing is that when I lift it at my height, it's not banging on the ground. So this way, when I lift it and walk around, I don't have any drag on the extendo arm down at the end. All right, thanks for checking out the build of this 2.0 version lumber cart slash tree trolley. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts or whatever, just hit me up down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond. Also, I'm not sure if other people are interested in building one of these. This might be kind of like a unique item that there aren't too many people interested in actually building themselves. But if you do want to build one of these yourself, and you like having plans for that kind of thing, just let me know. Send me a message on social media or hit me with a comment down below or whatever. I will happily make a plan for this thing. I'm just not too sure if that many people want a plan. All right, either way, it's all good. Thanks for checking out the project and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.